And welcome back to the Restaurant Show. Now I'm joined by Scott Manning and Trent Kramer, and I'm very excited to have Vintage Brewing Company here. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks for having us. And we're going to be talking about some really exciting stuff, starting with uh, the beer barrel aging that you guys do, something not a lot of breweries partake in, but you guys do, and it's a little bit different. Can you tell us a bit about that? Sure, sure. There's a lot of barrel-aged beers on the market these days, usually from much bigger breweries than ours. But uh, I'm just fascinated by what you can do with the flavors of beer and how they can change with some aging, especially when they're in a spirits barrel. Mm -hmm. So the best of the beer seems to come out, uh, especially with a really strong ale like an Imperial Stout, some of our bigger Belgian styles. But if you marry that with, say, a rum or a bourbon, of course, is a natural choice, some other kinds of whiskey like a rye, um, you can get some really magical things. So can you share with us, some of our viewers might not recognize it, what is the process or what takes place if you're barrel aging beer? Well, this is a finished beer, so it's already gone through its uh, normal production and its normal fermentation cycle. Okay. In a lot of cases, we serve that beer across the bar, but a certain portion we'll set aside and we'll age in uh, different kinds of wood. So um, you just lay down the finished beer in the barrel and it uh, slowly ages like a fine wine. and it, uh, some of those rough edges, some of the hoppier notes get more subdued and it makes a, a really smooth, um, complex beer. So when you're doing the beer, is it a lot like whiskey where the longer it sits, the better it gets or what's the difference between those two? I think there's a finite time you can have a beer where it's, you know, the peak of freshness is lost, of course, once you put it in the barrel. But I would say six months to a year, maybe a little beyond that. Uh, once you're past a year and a half, two years, you might just be letting your beer go too far. Mm -hmm. So it really is just a matter of getting in there and tasting it every so often, which is usually my job. Or Trent's. It's a good job. <laughs> it's a good job. Doesn't sound like a bad gig. <laughs> no, you, not at all. Are they taking applications right now for that? <laughs> they're, they're stacking them fast. You can find a new host for this, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, you brought a couple of those along with you today. What, are, what, what did you share with us? We're actually not running any of our barrel-aged beers at the very moment. Okay. These are two of our normal beers, but they sometimes do find their way into barrels. So on my right um, is Uthbert, which is a really interesting, complex beer. It's a Baltic porter, um, which is a strong, robust dark ale. But beyond that, it's a smoked Baltic porter. Mm -hmm. So there's um, a good portion of smoked wheat in the production, and it gives it just a really nice smoky edge. Um, this is one I'm going to age in a rye barrel, so it hasn't yet started its barrel aging process, but it's at the very beginning of uh, that. Wow. And that'll be probably six months to a year in the rye barrel, and we'll just see what we get. See what you get. <laughs> it's a waiting game with it. It's a waiting game. You never know exactly how it's going to turn out. I have an idea in my mind that this kind of a beer is going to degrade really nicely, and I think that rye is the kind of spirit that's going um, to segue nicely with the flavors of this beer. And the other product you brought along is one I'm very excited for because if you've had some of the vintage brewery beers, you know how fantastic they are. So now they're expanding a little bit and we're looking at a, a whiskey now. A woodshed whiskey, yeah. Uh, woodshed IPA is our flagship beer. It's our number one seller pretty much at all of our locations. Um, and we kind of partnered up with uh, Yahara Bay. Um, we knew them before and mm -hmm. we talked for quite a while, probably three years ago we started talks about distilling a spirit because um, in you know at, at its base the beer is kind of the same as the whiskey wash sure. it's just a different process so uh, we had talked about doing it for a while and then uh, at one point we got uh, a little bit caught up on production which doesn't happen very often and uh, we thought well uh, they say you're not supposed to distill an IPA, so let's distill an IPA. Give it a go. <laughs> and okay. uh, you know that was 18, a little over 18 months ago, and uh, it just got bottled uh, about a month ago, not even. And it's currently only available at uh, the three locations: the Vintage Spirits and Grill downtown, uh, Vintage Brewing Company on the west side, and then our location in Sauk City, which is called Woodshed Ale House. So that one's going to be easy to remember if you want. Right, it kind of <laughs> pulls it all together, but uh, the whiskey turned out fantastic. It's uh, the notes of the beer really come through. The hops uh, are very subtle, but they worked really well with uh, with the aging in the wood. And you said you teamed up with so Yahar Bay is doing the distilling. Mm -hmm. Yes. So another local company that yep. puts out great products is teaming with you guys. Another good company. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's that's kind of a cool little marriage of two local companies making something new and innovative. It is. It's a great story for both of us and uh, um, we've since uh, this is this has turned out we've since uh, ramped up our production so you know it's it's a minimum of 18 months before you get a batch so it's a, the waiting game. 
So when we're done, I'm taking one of these. <laughs> uh, so are you guys going to be doing a release for this or anything special to kind of uh, bring that out to the community? Yeah, yeah. You currently can get it at all three locations, mm -hmm. but we haven't done uh, made a whole lot of noise about it yet. And you can't buy a bottle right now? Uh, Yohara Bay does have a case of it, they and they are selling case. some, okay. but uh, I can't vouch for how long <laughs> how long that will You'd be. You want to hurry in. Yeah, we, we have, we've had a lot of interest in it uh, for other places, liquor stores and that, that want to sell, but we just don't have the production sure. right now. But uh, during Craft Madison Craft Beer Week on the 5th um, of May, we're going to have a release party at the Downtown Vintage. And then on the 6th of May, which is Wednesday, we're going to have a release party at the West Side, where there'll be some uh, some samplings, and um, well, all of us will be on hand to answer questions from, from the brewery and uh, from Yahara Bay. So the 5th and 6th of May, mm -hmm. put those in your calendar, are going to be releasing, uh, you know, the whiskey out a couple of things, and it should be a great time and a, a chance to sample it out there, I would assume. Yep. Yep. Okay. So not only great beers, some that are aged, New whiskey on the table, but still all the great food that uh, Vintage is such well known for. Oh yeah, yeah. We can't let uh, can't let the kitchen guys get have all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta leave it to some of the brew guys right. as well. Uh, tell us some other things that might be going on at uh, Vintage right now too. Well, Craft Beer Week is the big one for us. Mm -hmm. We we pull out all the stops and have a lot of fun with it. If people are curious about barrel aged beers, we have one event. If you can only make it to one of our events during Craft Beer Week, which is the 1st to the 10th of mm -hmm. May, you should really come by on the 9th of May, which is a Saturday. We do a thing called Big Barrel Terrero. So we release, we re-release all the barrel beers we've ever done wow. in one giant, you know, party. So we'll have probably 24, 30 of our own, and we invite some of our brewer friends who have similar beers, some sours, some really strong uh, ales, anything that came from the wood, it's all good. And is that a ticket event or is that something people show you, up you to? You pay as you go. So we're not doing oh. tickets just yet. You can uh, come in and for as little as 15 bucks, get a souvenir glass and a few samples or spend all you like. Well, you I, will, I will be there. <laughs> you guys will see me there. Scott and Trent from the Vintage Brewing Company. Guys, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. We'll Thanks be right back us. with more of the restaurant show after this. In the meantime, we're going to try some of this stuff. See ya.